Pittsburgh's mayor has chosen the next police chief to lead the force into the future. If approved, Larry Scarato will face a number of issues, including recruitment and officer morale. Thanks for joining us at 5. I'm Ken Rice. And I'm Christine Sorensen. Scarato says he's up to the task. KDKA investigator Andy Sheehan was first to report that Scarato would be Mayor Ed Ganey's nominee. And Andy has the latest now. As we reported, Larry Scarato is the mayor's choice, but his appointment comes nearly a year after the last permanent chief said he was leaving and a selection process that has been marked with controversy. Man, it's good to be home. <laughs> like they say, there's no place like home and, and there's no place like Pittsburgh. Scarato returns to Pittsburgh after serving nearly 23 years as an officer here, rising from patrol to assistant chief. But his appointment comes after nearly a year of waiting and a selection process with many twists and turns involving the three finalists for the job, Scarato, former Boise, Idaho Chief Ryan Lee, and former Pittsburgh Commander Jason Lando. As we reported, the job was initially offered to Lee, who had been fired in Boise after a dozen officers filed complaints against him. City council members here raised concern and the offer was rescinded. In the past three weeks, the mayor chose Scarato over Lando, despite the fact that Scarato himself had been fired as police chief of Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Every single candidate that we interviewed was great. We didn't have no candidate that was not great. But Larry rose to the top. His deep ties in the city, inside knowledge of the bureau, and his outside perspective makes him the right choice to be chief of police and to continue on with our right policing strategy. Scarato is suing the city of Fort Lauderdale for wrongful termination after he was fired for allegedly promoting minority officers over whites. But the mayor's appointee said he promoted on merit in Florida and will do the same here in Pittsburgh. We will always prioritize diversity, but that doesn't mean that we're sacrificing quality candidates to do so uh, in Fort Lauderdale or here. If approved by city council, he'll be called upon to lead a police bureau with shrinking numbers, poor morale, and a youth gun violence crisis that has gripped the city. To that end, he says he'll immediately reevaluate and reorganize the bureau to address the proliferation of guns. To hold those accountable that commit gun violence in our city, and no longer do they get to operate with impunity or immunity. Councilman Bruce Krause, who worked with Scarato when Scarato was commander of the South Side, fully endorses the selection and believes council will do the same. I think he's a perfect choice to, to lead the department at this time. Now, if approved, Larry Scarato says he will hit the ground running. Coming up at 6 o'clock, his plan to rein in youth gun violence and restore department morale. Reporting at the City County Building, Andy Sheehan, KDK News.